Hello, everybody. In this video, we're just going to be covering political trends in each of these states, which way the states are going to be moving politically come in the next few elections. So we have three indicators. You have Democratic trends, we have Republican trends, and we have the stagnant status. Stagnant's basically, uh, I don't see a foreseeable change. I think it'll probably stay relatively the same in terms of margin. So um, let's go right into this. And we're going to start off with our first few most trending states, and that's Florida, which I think is going to go very far Republican in the future, and Colorado. So they're pretty much two sides of the same coin here. They're both shifting in opposite directions away from each other at a rapid pace, which is why they're covered in the likely color. Okay, now we're going to go into, I think we'll start off the western states. So I say Utah and Arizona as two states that are definitely going to keep shifting for the Democrats here. I just think they're going to have pretty good trends in the future going forward with them. So uh, moving on to the next few states, let's go to, I guess, Kansas and Nebraska. Kansas, I definitely see, is getting a bit more Democratic in the future, so I'm coloring this as a lean blue shift. Nebraska, I would say Nebraska at large is definitely going to get more Democratic in the future. I'd probably put the first district as about lean Democratic in the future. Nebraska's second will keep shifting left as well. Well, I see Nebraska's third, the more rural, rural Republican district becoming more Republican. Um, in North Dakota and South Dakota, I would also have these states continually shifting Republican, even Wyoming just by a bit more, just I think it's kind of maxed out in Wyoming, to be honest, but I still think it's going to get a bit more Republican. Montana is one of the states I can see keep shifting Democratic. Well, Idaho, that's one of those stagnant states, I would argue. I really can't see a foreseeable change either way. Idaho might gain another congressional seat, and that seat could even be a competitive one for the Democrats, because it'll probably be central around uh, Boise, Idaho, big population center there. Um, starting with the West Coast, I think Nevada is just going to get a tiny bit more Republican. It is moving that way in elections, getting a bit more and more closer for Republicans. Oregon, I kind of see it kind of shifting a tiny bit more Republican like Nevada in the future. Same with California, but not by a noticeable amount to shift California or Oregon from safe Democratic states. I still think they'll be safe blue in the future. Washington, I would say it's probably going to keep shifting blue a bit, so I'd put it as tilt blue. Alaska is one of the states that I think are definitely shifting Democratic, so I definitely see a Democratic shift for it in the future. Hawaii, I would argue it has a slight Republican trend, but a bit more than other states. Oklahoma, I also see as Republican trending. And New Mexico, I would argue that's a static state. I really don't think it'll move much. I think it'll just stay at its relative likely blue status for now. Texas, on the other hand, with the urban areas getting so much population in Texas, long term, I definitely do think it's going to shift Democratic, but not as much as some of these other states. I would only put it as a tilt blue shift over time. Now, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I think the map will actually look like in like 2040, for example, with all the states filled in blue and red. So we'll see that at the end. But uh, let's keep going through here, through these next few states. Louisiana and Arkansas, definitely heavy red shifts in both of these states. Same with Tennessee and Alabama. I don't really see Democrats doing well in them in the future. Georgia, definitely a good Democratic shift for the uh, Dems going forward. South Carolina, I also see getting a bit bluer in the future, too, so I'd put that as tilt blue. Mississippi, it's a bit stagnant, mainly because in Mississippi, it's very racially divided here. It's like... If you're a black voter, you're like very likely to be a Democrat in Mississippi, and if you're a white voter, you're very likely to be a Republican. So with that, I would argue it's just stagnant. I really don't see a observable shift either way. So I have this as a stagnant state. I don't think it's going to shift blue or something like that. But uh, let's keep going on onward. So Mississippi, I'd have this as a bit more of a shifting Republican state. Kentucky, hmm, it's a hard one. To see. I would kind of argue it's a bit stagnant because, again, Louisville is a bit growing in population. I could see it getting a bit bluer while the rural parts of Kentucky continue to become more and more Republican. So I'd put this as a stagnant state. Indiana, I would probably put it as a tilting Republican state in the future, getting more and more Republican. West Virginia, heavy Republican 
it's just going to keep turning more and more Republican in the future. And I just see it kind of similar to Florida in that regard. Iowa, it also has a red shift going on as well. Same with Ohio. So I just classify these states both as lean Republican shifts. Illinois, on the other hand, it's a very slight Republican shift. So I'd put it as tilt R for a shift. Now in these three Rust Belt states, it's really iffy here, but I would put Minnesota as a bit stagnant. Even Wisconsin is stagnant. Even though the rural areas are getting more Republican, Waukesha County, a very big suburb in Wisconsin, is shifting blue. So I think they kind of cancel each other out long term, so that's why I have it as a stagnant state. Michigan, I would also probably argue it is a stagnant state, so I think the state will just continue to be a swing state like Wisconsin is going forward in the future. Starting off with Maryland, this state is just getting bluer. D.C., on the other hand, is probably a bit stagnant. I think the Democrats are pretty close to maxed out in that district. Uh, let's see. Delaware, on the other hand. I definitely will probably see a Republican shift for the state in the future, so that's why it's a lean Republican shift. Virginia, it's very close to stagnant for me, but I just think long term it's going to keep getting bluer, so I have this as a tilt blue shift over time. North Carolina, I think... The urban areas here are getting a bit bluer in North Carolina, while the exurbs are getting a bit more Republican, and so are the rural areas in North Carolina. So I would argue this is a stagnant state. I think this will continue being a swing state for time to come here. In Pennsylvania, I would also argue it's a stagnant state. The rural areas are getting more Republican, and the urban areas are definitely have a lot of large population centers here in Pennsylvania. It kind of shifts the state either way. I would probably argue it's a stagnant state because I think those effects cancel each other out here. New Jersey, it's a very hard one to read, but I would probably also put this as a stagnant state going forward. I think it will remain safe blue in the future. So in the Northeast, a lot of it is just a Democratic shift, like in Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire even, I just think are going to continually get more Democratic. Um, Rhode Island as well, I would add on to there. Well, Connecticut, I would argue, is a bit more stagnant. In New York, it's definitely a Republican trend here. I see Republicans doing a bit better in the state overall. Maine at large, I would put a stagnant. Well, for the uh, other two districts, they're shifting in opposite directions. So Maine's second is Republican trending, and Maine's first is Democratic trending. So I think we filled in the entire map here of how the trends are going for each of these states. So this is the final shift map, and we're going to go to the Electoral College map in 2040. I didn't do the electoral vote math because it's very complex and it'll probably be wrong by then, so why do it? But overall, I think the map might turn out something like this. It really depends on how Texas shifts, though. And honestly, I would probably put Wisconsin as just narrowly tilt Republican here. But um, the map probably would look something like this margin-wise going in the future. Texas, though, is a bit iffy because, again, it depends on how these Latinos trend. So if Latinos continue to trend right in the state of Texas, it's going to stay as a Republican state. However, Latinos just hold their ground and stop shifting towards Republicans. I could see Democrats flipping here just due to the amount of people moving from blue states to the state of Texas for cheap housing. So, yeah, I think the map will probably turn out something like this in the year 2040. Republicans still have a path. They could win by winning North Carolina, Texas, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. That's a potential path for them, but let me just fill in with the colors and how I think they're going to go. But I could see something like this happening for the map in 2040. So let me know what you think of this video down in the comments below. Do you disagree on any of the state trends here? What do you think the electoral map would look like in 2040? I currently think it'll look like this, but let me know. If you're new to this channel, I recommend subscribing as well, especially if you enjoy these types of videos. But other than that, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.